Chess friends, how are you? Alpha Zero developed his new version Alpha Zero 18 couple of days ago, and today I played with his new version where I brilliantly sacrificed my pieces, you can have anything you want if you are willing to give up everything you have, so let's go, I started the game with d4, Alpha played d5, c4 queen's gambit, you can play e6 knight f6 or c6 slav variation, c6 knight c3 knight goes to f6 and we have e3. Knight f3 is coming and this is called standard opening where I gain more space. a6 bishop d3 b5, that's a wonderful move because alpha 0 is trying to build his queen structure, here you can push your c pawn to build a pawn chain but your structure can be targeted by your opponent pawns, so I played b3, bishop g4, bishop e2 isn't good because you will lose control over this great diagonal, so I played knight e2. e6 queen e2 to make a queen bishop, battery to attack in this diagonal in long run and knight g3 is coming, so after bishop e6 knight g3 we have e5 with e4 threat and the pawn is trying to break the center, so I move up my c pawn, pawn takes pawn takes pawn, and after some moves later, both side played castle, bishop e3 rook e8 queen here knight d7 I played bishop g5, that's a great move to create pressure to black king side, rook e1 is a reasonable choice to consider in my next move, Alpha played h6. What a dumb move, he doesn't know that I beat some galaxies aliens at chess, he should give me respect by resign the game but he challenged me with h6, so the greater of greatest super ultra legendary ultimate max genius brilliant stockfish sacrificed the bishop, g takes bishop queen takes pawn, the queen is creating much problems to the wide king position, the bishop is ready there, rook is coming and maybe I can push my f pawn in the future. And don't forget that the knight is also available to add nuclear attacks, here if you think like a 200 LOS for example rook b8, then I will play queen g5 check, a lot of people will be afraid to play king h8 because the king will be more annoying there, so king f8 queen check king ups, then I will play brilliant knight check, bishop have to take, take and rook e1 is coming so black will play rook h8, rook e1 check anyway, knight e4 queen takes pawn, Knight takes d5 is coming to bring tornado. Knight f6 to defend the position with queen, we will capture it, takes takes and you know what, queen takes knight is coming, the position will be a dead loss for you, king f8 and d5, look at this position, I will get two connected pass pawns and rook e1 is coming, black can't survive from this position because the king is very much unsafe, so back to the position, alpha played bishop takes g5, he didn't play rook b8 because he is not a substandard human like you. f takes pawn the file gets open for my rook, my pieces are very much active in black king side, how will you defend your position? Even if you play any inaccuracy move for example rook b8 again, then rook f4 will come. To remember your father name, so knight e4, try to block the diagonal, but I don't care for it, I will do some idiot pieces exchanges in the center, the knight is keeping eye on these squares, so queen e7 to kick out the white queen, but it's too late for you because I have the brave rook, now queen g8 isn't possible because of queen h8 checkmate, you have to play another move to defend your position, but there is knight g5 check, the king can't run any of these squares, so after queen takes g5. Rook h7 check queen g7 and checkmate, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them, so back to the position, Alpha have the courage to pursue his dreams so he played queen e7 first, rook f4 to go like, we have queen f8 to target the queen, so I captured the knight with my rook, queen exchange can't possible because of rook takes queen and I have the kingside army to create much troubles for the black king, queenside is locked so black can't do anything there. So we have knight takes f6 queen takes knight, bishop e7 to open up this file, king h2 rook e6 queen f2, rook e8 and look at my knight, if you analyze my games you will see that I create most of the problems for my opponent with my knight, so knight e2 to go f4, rook e3 knight f4, the knight gets the amazing outpost and chess friends, if you want to play chess like me then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel where I share my chess knowledge and chess courses videos for free. We have queen f6 rook f1, I threaten to take the pawn with a rook threat and attack the pawn, so queen f6 b4, you shouldn't take the pawn because of knight h4 and you will face problems on there, so alpha played bishop c8 and we have some bishop dances, 
Few moves later, we have queen c2 and here if you play any normal move for example bishop d7, then I will play queen h7 check, king f8, knight g6 check, queen takes bishop takes queen, king up to e7 queen h4 check. The king have to move move back and it will be checkmate in two moves, your one blunder move can lose your game completely, so back to the position, we have queen h4, knight h5 to give him a check by blocking the queen's line, so we have f5, and you cannot take the pawn, let me show you the variation, then you will simply lose your knight, so we have queen d2 to target this pawn with bishop, queen g5 and if you dare to take the pawn, then alpha will sacrifice the rook to win up the queen. Chess game is very difficult to understand, every chess moves and position changes the whole variations and possibilities. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.